Hey, welcome back everybody to episode 20 of my Grand Skies 2 Let's Play series. Can't believe we're 20 episodes in already. That's crazy. Um, just uh, up front, if you guys uh, notice any difference in my voice or the recording audio itself, it's because I have a new microphone and I also changed a lot of the settings when it comes to my voice recording and so on because I was just getting very unhappy with the voice quality and I hope that it makes a big difference um, and I would really 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 appreciate it that when you're done watching the video and you notice anything that you don't like something you think I could do better when it comes to the audio quality please go down in the comments and take a second to let me know I would really appreciate that so Last time we killed a wither boss here towards the end of the episode and it did not give us a division sigil. Now after some research apparently they are supposed to drop them but they only have a chance to drop them. So I figured you know we had six more of these wither skeleton skull heads um, that we're just gonna go ahead and summon another one or if needed two and see if we get lucky and finally get the sigil. So, just like last time, I'm going to go ahead and take my fire resist potion and place the last head right there and get ready. I did lower this uh, sound a little bit of the hostile mob, so hopefully this time it won't scream at us that loud. And we'll see. Come on. Oh, I don't see it at all. What? Where is it? Where are you at, buddy? What's going on? It doesn't want to come down? That's fine by me. Where's it going? I can't see anything. Hey, come on. I want to do it like last time. Come here. Can you come out? I want to whack you with my sword. I rebuilt that tunnel here um, earlier because Last time it was so nice of that wither just coming in here trying to hit me. I don't know, but he wants to be difficult. Let me go ahead and place some lights so you guys can see better. Come on. How am I supposed to get up there? I don't have flight. Why does it not come after me? I don't understand that. Am I hitting you? Alright, so I seriously need to go up there? Well, so be it. Let's just do that. Get some. Come on. Man, where are you going? Why is the thing not paying attention to me? That was weird. And exploding ore. See, that's why I took the fire resist potion. Let's see. What's going on? I, not even another star? What? They don't burn up, so I should at least get another star. What in the world is going on? Okay, I, I'm... No nether star, no... No division sigil. Oh, come on. Did it fly somewhere else? Hmm. No, that sucks, guys. <laughs> it really does. That that really bums me out. Um, let me go ahead and empty my inventory just to make sure. But I don't think that No, I'm I'm very sure Nether Stars cannot burn up in fire. Um that's the that that's it's a vanilla feature there is no way all right guys let me empty my inventory and we summon the next one oh my goodness he's wrecking me this time
What I don't understand is this why I don't get withered. Oh, yes, guys. Awesome. Apparently I got a pigman hit. Oh, that was when, when I came in through the portal, I got attacked by a chicken jockey with a zombie baby on it. And we got another star. So I don't care what happened to the other one. This is what we came for. I'm going straight home. Get this into safety. And we can finally make our unstable ingots to get that angel ring. I am... What, what are you doing here? Wait, what? You're just sitting around here having a, a tea or something? Cup of tea? Right in front of the portal. That sucks. <laughs> Imagine you come through into the nether and you see that. Just spreading the grass on this platform here real quick. That should be good enough. And the middle is right there. I made the enchanting table. Bam. And let's put the ring of redstone around it. And now, of course, I need the sigil. Bada bing. Get rid of this stuff. And let's see. Shift right click. As the circle, it's placed on dirt. Apparently it only needs dirt. Okay. You can see the moon and has sufficient natural earth. And altar must not be lit and too early. Okay. So now what I got to do is wait for midnight, which is, well, 12 hours. Because it's noon right now. And of course, I totally forgot. Uh, we still have to get an animal. So let me... Um, Oh, yeah, we got animals this way. Let me just get a safari net. Actually gonna take two, just in case. I don't want to wait another night. Uh, that would suck. And then as soon as it is midnight, I'm going to place one of these animals on there. And that will start the sacrifice. Let's take one of you and one of you. You guys are so mean anyway. So I'm gonna sacrifice those. Yeah, so I'll be back in a second when it is midnight. Alright, it should be any second now. The sigil on the bottom is going to look like it's enchanted. And I'm actually a little worried about the animal putting it on there. There it is. Now it is enchanted. You guys see that it's time. So as soon as I place this here with shift right click, otherwise I open the enchanting table, I got to kill it really fast because it's going to attack me. That didn't work. Well, it sucks. There we go. All right. That's the ritual. And you guys see tons of mobs right away. And let's just... You what? All right. I, I got to get underneath and get some of this cursed earth real quick. And luckily, I have silk touch on this. Let's just take all this off. And then in the end, I can get the enchanting table. Yeah, any if if it's it has direct sky access, I believe. That's when this stuff in any kind of light source, it will start burning. It used to be that it's only uh, sunlight. Well, but we don't have any sunlight right now. So me placing these these thingamajiggies here, these blood lamps, is what caused the fire. But perfect, guys. We got an activated sigil. And we got Cursed Earth. So now we can actually continue with what we've been wanting to do for a long time. And that is to get flight. And then, of course, also um, a Cursed Earth farm. So let's go over here. Now that we have it. I'm so happy. Um, let me put on this chest plate again. I don't need flight now. Until we are done with this. So, bam, 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 bam. I put this in here for now and these. And let me get a chest because I might die now. Who knows? It's uh, it's not hard to make unstable ingots, but it can be a little bit of a hustle. Um, I need this. I don't, well, I don't need this at all. Get this out of here and this. And let me take off my armor. You know, because if the... The unstable ingots, you have, I believe, six seconds to do something with them when you make it. Um, let's just double check the angel ring real quick. I definitely want the other fairy dragon. I, I'm going to go with the invisible ones, guys, to have less flapping in my face. So we need four gold and then two of these. And of course, 
come on there we go that one and that's an iron and a diamond so i gotta make two of these and i cannot close the crafting grid it needs to be done in a vanilla crafting table um and all that stuff or it blows up and you are dead there's nothing you can do um to avoid it there's no trickery you just gotta be fast so i need it okay so i got the four gold and the nether star and now i need two more iron and two diamonds let's get these two diamonds and the two iron okay and i'm going to do this there's an explosion but i don't think that you die from the explosion uh you don't have any block destruction from the explosion it's just death for you <laughs> um let's just do it right here right here that's a good as any spot so let's put this down and what i like to do is i like to arrange this in my um this is the wrong way in my crafting grid so what i do is do this and that and then i know the two unstable ingots need to go here so just so when i'm making this i don't need to you know think oh which way do they go again so what i'm gonna do is shift left click this they're gonna go in my inventory then i'm gonna take the division sigil out place the gold the nether star and the two ingots and take out the ring immediately so wish me luck here goes nothing what what What? This is the right recipe. Ah, oh, this is a bummer. So now if I close it, I'm going to die. Hmm, that sucks. That really sucks. I've had, um, some of my buddies on uh on i think we were on infinity they had the same problem i was able to see it but they were not able to see it and you guys saw me it's 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 just not doable oh it's glass up here because of my texture pack i'm such a moron oh well here goes here goes a death that sucks oh well lesson learned <laughs> I think all the stuff is still here. Oh, I forgot to take off my bobble. Um, it used some of the things. Oh, we got a. We, at least we got a head. Let's put this guy. R what? Um, mm, let's put it right there. Cool. So let's get the stuff again. Ah. Uh, of course the glass and it's all because of my texture pack that i can see it it's it bugs me and i i've been trying i've been meaning to fix this for a while so it's my own fault nobody else's and bada bing bada bing so let's do this one more time this time we do it right i don't need to eat if i die i die and how do i get rid of this waypoint here get out of here I know I died. You don't need to remind me. Okay, so bam, bam, bam. These two like that. The gold like this. Another star in the middle. All right, cross your fingers. Hopefully, I don't mess it up this time. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Mmm. Oh my lord. Alright, you know, screw this. Um Get out of here. I need to see my glass. I thought I picked them both up, but apparently I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> that bugs me we got another hit give me my nether star and where's my sigil 
Well, why, why you gotta fly over here? Oh my lord, that would have been terrible. And attempt number three, guys. Wow. Okay, no texture pack is really cool. Oh, well, I go back to it when I got this done, but for now we'll just go without it. And I am going to fix the this texture pack issue right after this. I just want to get the flight. Sorry, guys, that I'm derping here so much, but you guys can see it's not as easy. And I usually actually don't die. Um, I'm pretty good at that, but oh well. So again, you go there, you go there, you go there, and you go there. Let's do it again. Bam. Come on, do it. Please don't make a fool out of me one more time. Got it. Oh my goodness. Ah, yay. Cheers, clap. Woohoo. <laughs> Okay, now let's just put on the armor again and see how cool this flight is. We don't need the division sigil right now. And get all of this. Put this on. And you can put the angel ring also in your bobble slot, which is super awesome. And bada bing, bada bing. Like that. Well, actually, you know what? We don't need the sword for a while. Put this away. And I got all of that. How much LP do we have left? I hope. A million okay cool and guess what guys i am super happy we can finally fly create a flight no more noise from the jetpack and it just makes it so much easier to build uh i love it i'm happy and i'm gonna go ahead and fix the texture pack real quick okay guys check it out um i was editing the video just now and it got really boring for almost 10 minutes because all we did was do a couple quests like playing with dolls where we made a precious doll. Oops. And then we made the angry doll just so we complete this quest. We also made this cobble gen upgrade. You know, it's a very simple recipe, super easy. We made this stone generator. And we already had the automatic sieve and we got this reward back for it. And then we also made this automatic camera, got 64 dust to it. You know, really, really easy stuff. And over here, the sifting grass, where we make topiary grass, um, I made four stacks of that. And the topiary grass is simply a piece of dirt with any four seeds around it. Um, I used pumpkins because, you know, we have a barrel full of pumpkin and one pumpkin turns into four seeds. So it was always pretty much one dirt on one pumpkin to make one of these. I made four stacks and they are processing in the auto sieve right now. And that is all we did. And well, I'd rather have some fun today than doing these quests here on camera. They're quite easy. And what I want to do is I want to get rid of this tower. <laughs> Simple as that. So I figured we're going to do this together real quick. And I'm just going to go ahead and place all this TNT up here, or maybe not all of it, but as much as I think I'll need to get this somewhat deconstructed. Very careful. <laughs> and then we're going to build a the auto spawner, and uh, not the auto spawner, the cursed earth farm today, because it's been on my to-do list for quite some time. I really want to get this done. I think it's going to be cool. Um, let's put one here, one there, just, you know, willy nilly around here. And then I don't know if we're going to able to light them all. Probably not without dying. I'm probably placing way too much, but who cares? It's just sand and uh, gunpowder, which we have tons of from this tower here. Because, you know, the thing is with the tower, it works, but there's always like 30 40 50 mobs up in here that are not dropping down because when you're further than 32 blocks away they stop moving and uh, so we use 32 right now um let's just use a couple of them here let's see what happens okay i i, I forgot that there's water in here <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love it when a plan comes together. Let me get my angel blocks here real quick. 
and well i want to do a little more tnt hold on a second let's go right there go boom here and we can probably let's just stop this whoops let's stop this water here for a second and put one right there and do the same here Ah, you gotta love TNT. Isn't that one of the best things in Minecraft? Seriously. Get to blow stuff up. And the last one over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and just keep making my way down until the whole tower is done. And then we'll go uh, build the, the Cursed Earth Farm together. Um, I can do another one right there. Okay, so I'll see you guys in just a moment. So now, before we start building that grinder room, I wanted to check here. Yes, we got tiger wood saplings, finally. Now look how little stuff we got. That was four stacks of that topiary grass. That is what, 6, 7, 11, 14, 16, 20, 22, 25, 26, 27, 28, 20, 30 items, including that one that we got from four stacks of this grass. So that's pretty crazy. But we can turn in this quest now. By the way, I forgot to show you guys. That's why I have it in the inventory. From that reward bag that we got for... What was it again? Um, I think this one right here. Yeah, out of this reward bag, I got the Thaumium Scoop, which is really cool for when we get started with bees. And I wanted to make sure to show it to you guys. And let's turn in this quest right here. Oh, now I need ore berries. Wait, and you get those from stone okay well i guess we'll we'll start that one eh. i didn't know that was a two-parter let's just take a few stacks of this stuff oh i love the flight all right you go ahead and start sifting that and i'll put this sapling back in here i don't know what i want to do with them yet but i could definitely use some of them to make the island more colorful so let's make a few items here first of all we're gonna need that is yeah we need some of this piping we'll need this piping and we'll need this piping i'm gonna need a few more chests oh perfect i needed four <laughs> and so we got that 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 uh, we don't need the lever. Yes, I do need the lever. I'm going to need the redstone lamps. Let's take them all. And I'm also going to need the red net cables that we have. Okay, so let's go ahead and make three more grinders. Because we're going to go with a typical four grinder setup. I think I still have to need to make these. Yep. And... Uh, I always forget about these little things down here. I don't have a crafting recipe for them yet, but they're easy to make. So one, two, three. Bam, we got four of them. And of course, they're not stacking because this one probably has power. Yep. Sweet. So we got the four grinders, the chest. And now what we need to make is a ton of... We got 23 dark glass, but we're going to need to make a lot more of that. So let's make a... Let's just make three stacks of these. It doesn't matter. And this is thickened glass. I need to make some of that. Um, let me just cook up two stacks of this real quick. And we can get started over there. Continue doing what we're doing. Good. You take care of that for me. And so, tower is gone. That was easy. A couple more TNT. I actually had some left over. And I made this 10 by 10 on the inside. So, the outside wall is 12 by 12. And I have not put the roof on yet. I'm going to do that in just a second. And then at the very end, we're going to replace some of this dirt here with the cursed earth. But we need to make sure that this room is dark before we do that. And I'm actually planning on putting it in from the bottom. If you guys check, we're in the basement. I, I did that on purpose like this. So that should work out nice. Okay, so these right here, well, we can set them up already. Let's go ahead and put these grinders there. Let's put our first one there. And they cover a 5x5, five five, I think, 
three tall or five tall. Let's see real quick. I, I think I have that precision sledgehammer. Yep, there it is. And when we have that on, yeah, you see how tall. What? What's going on here? Why is this forward one? It doesn't even make any sense. What? So then, what? What is this green thing here? <laughs> what are you? I wonder if that is the old one where the other grinder was and it just hasn't updated yet or something. That must be it. But yeah, um, like I said, it's a, it looks like a 5x5x5, five by five by five, right? Yeah. So it goes up one. It goes two above it, two below it, and the one in front of it. So 5x5x5 five by five by five with this being in the middle of this um, square. So that's just so you can see, it's going to reach everywhere. It's no problem. And I made the inside three high because that way we're going to get Enderman also, you know, which is perfect. And this is going to be the ceiling. I'm going to use the sky stone. I don't know. I kind of like these two blocks. Uh, maybe we'll mix it up a little bit. And then the entire walls here are going to be that dark glass that we're waiting for. Um, so it's pitch black dark, but you can look in. And we got the resources. I made all this wool. Oh, I had it make all this wool. I think we still have yeah 28 stacks. That's when I turned it off. Now, the thing is that... Um, five by five. I'm gonna have to check real quick if I do this here. I can never remember. Let me take this lever here and just turn it on. We have the magnum torch over there, by the way. When cursed earth um, ignores all spawning rules, so even with a magnum torch and stuff in the area, um, it will keep spawning. It also doesn't care about the mob cap, nothing. But I still always like to put the redstone lamps anyway because, well, it's just nice to actually be able to turn it on. I know it's not going to spawn anything. So that works perfectly right there. Come on, give me the lever. All right. Um, I had the pick there. So we're just going to put all these up real quick. So that's one. That's one. And that's one. So bam, bam, bam. And of course, I'm gonna. I need to go down to Jaded and get more Sky Stone. I don't have any more, but it's you know very cheap for us to get that. Give me that one. Don't you hate when you misplace something? <laughs> and I'm gonna make the shut off. Wait a second. Yeah, I'm gonna make the shut off right here. I think that's a good spot. Um, so we're gonna take this retina cable. Let me turn off F7. That's not really that important. We're just gonna connect uh, like that and misplace something again. Bam! Give me that. And then we'll go over here like that. Okay. And now we come over like this and come down one. And get the lever and the wrench. It's also going to make it easier for... I don't want it to be connected in the end. Right there. No, you go away. And now I just need to connect... And, oh, cool. Like, I think like that is enough for redstone lamps. Uh, I, don't, I, I just take the standard connection. I think that should be good. Let's see. Yeah, so now everything in here, if we press F7, F7 is on now. You see everything is lit up. So if this was Cursed Earth, it will not spawn anything. And I'll go ahead and wait for this to be smelted up and get more Sky Stone and cover this up. And then, um, actually, no, hold on. We, we can run this right now. So what I was thinking of is... I'm going to make more Tesseracts. I think let me let me think here for a second I can we still have this one that we used for power and sending off the essence after it came comes out of the drum the thing is I want to make sure that it stays pitch black dark on the inside 
okay so one thing for sure even if we don't use tesseracts we need the chests there and there the same on the other side and power and fluid needs to come either from underneath and then from the sides but the problem is that i guess we need to test this here how can we test this um let's see I i'm trying to figure out how i can test this here Let let's just test it in here real quick i want to see if the what are they called again those those covers from thermal expansion that you can put over the pipes if they actually block the light completely okay i hope that makes sense so meaning that if i put a light right there bam and i use a fluid duct from the inside right there and i close this off you see the light still comes through but let's get a i think they're called is this the cover yes Let's use this cover and put it there. Yeah, it lets the light through. So we cannot block off the pipes with this. And that is what I was fearing. So to make this really properly dark, the best way we can do it. Hmm, that means we need to lower. Ah, now I took it off. Dang it. Sorry, guys. I need to build another room real quick um let's just close it off like this it doesn't really take that long we'll go inside place another light right there now close these two and place the tesseract right there yeah the tesseract also lets light through so there is no other way for us to make this really fully dark than to where is it so i don't forget later um is to lower the test um the grinders one down and then use four tesseracts so what that means is we need to put the tesseract here in the ground and then put the grinder on top of it like this and i need to get rid of that i don't want to send the item through the tesseract though um, i want to to go through the same ducking that we had before but that's no problem because we're simply going to use where are they that's the fluid duct impulse item duct so it's gonna go like that now the problem is uh, this sucks because the tesseract sends sends the the essence over here so first we came out of this into the drum and then from the drum into so that would mean we would have to open another channel and i don't like that so i think we're gonna not place this drum anymore because we're gonna generate enough essence anyway once we just let this go um and then simply go from the tesseract into that and this drum right here we're just gonna you know keep for now if we ever run out or something okay so let me go ahead and make these tesseracts real quick i need like i said three more and then we can place the glass and finish this up and give it a run all right while i wait for the tesseracts to be filled i wanted to check on the progress for this okay so we got a bunch of orberry bushes and which one did the quest want um aluminum that is this one okay and turn this in and we get an essence berry bush so now we got everything completed here on this page besides the one where we have to go to the other dimensions and we'll get to that very soon hopefully and i'll leave this one here too actually you know what just so i don't forget them right now i'm gonna place these guys right here these uh essence berry bushes they don't care about light levels so they they grow perfectly fine in um bright lighting and they should be done so here's three and four awesome and now i figured before we place them down there you guys see here this one is frequency zero send fluid and receive energy and i'm gonna do the same thing on each one of them um item nothing fluid send and energy receive bam so now they're just huh you guys see that 
How the frequency goes from 0 to 1? What does that mean? It's supposed to be 1 and 1. Okay, weird. Eh. I don't care about items. Fluid send, and this is done. And the last one. Bada bing. Like that. Cool. So now we got all these done. And it might make more sense in just a second. Why am I doing it this way? Um, now, before we set up the test right on the bottom, you guys see, I closed up the hole up here. And I even put some um, blood lamps up here just in case I ever turn these off and happen to move the magnum torch so nothing can spawn on top of this. And But we still need to put these servos in here and turn them all to ignore it. I made two more of these, what are they called, uh, reinforced servers because they're much faster. So all this stuff can keep up just nice. And number four. Whoops. There we go. Okay, so everything is ready here. I cannot think of anything that we're still waiting on. And I think I can fly in here. Yes, cool. So now all we got to do is take these out and place a Tesseract each right there. Um, I know it's, it's pretty overkill, but it is just a very nice way. So that way we have all red X's on the inside. And we get maximum amount of spawns. You can do it with cables and stuff or ducts, I should say. It works. Cursed Earth. Let's take... Uh, we don't even need that many. Let's just take 10. This stuff spreads pretty quickly once the it is placed there. And I'm just going to place this willy-nilly real quick here. Just so there's a few everywhere. And once I turn off the light, they do not spread in the... I'm going to make sure that I don't take one out that is a cursed one. They don't spread in the light. So right now it's, you know, got the lights going on the inside. Let's put one there and... Oops, that is cursed earth. And one more here. Okay. Now let's go up. Ow. What? That was weird. Yeah, there it is. It doesn't burn up even though there's lighting hitting it because there's no access to sunlight. Um, That is it, folks. Bam. You guys see all red X's. That's what we want. And we can turn this off. And it's going to take a minute for the spawns to really start because it has to spread all first. But you see, it's already happening. And they're getting killed. Let's take a look at these items. All right, they're coming from back there and they can only go this way because all the other things have servos. So it's just like it was before with the tower. It just has to travel a little further. And you guys see, um, we also get witches and I'm sure we're also going to get some of these named ones. And because it's three tall, we're also going to get endermen so we don't ever need to spawn them again. Not that we're low on ender pearls, but hey, I'd take free ender pearls any day. Okay, about 15 minutes or so passed by. I was editing the video and it's almost done spreading. There's like one more spot left here. And well, with the lights on, I can't show you the spawn rates, but it's quite good. It's usually always two to three mobs here um, at all times. Right now there's four. It, it goes quite fast um, and very consistent. You know, they instantly get killed. They don't start wondering. It's also really good on the tick and so on. It's a really good farm. So, but of course, we're full on essences. We don't need anything. I don't need any drops. So for the time being, I'm just going to leave this on just so, well, we don't waste any energy and stuff. Um, but next episode, we're definitely going to make use of it because I actually had an idea for this drum. When we make auto enchanter um, and the auto anvil and so on, these guys right here. Uh, auto enchanter and auto anvil they need essence and they need essence on demand pretty much you know a couple buckets at a time so i figured i'm gonna put the barrel over here also hooked up to a tesseract but uh we're not gonna have any time to set this up we're gonna do this in the beginning of the next episode finish that because uh making the the tesseract i get tired of waiting for this induction smelter right so you guys see I made this a reinforced one and gave it two augments so it's faster. And now just for some reason I checked the quest book. Check this out. 
We have un eight completed quests. I, I don't know what happened. And check it out. It's it's totally weird under power grid. Um, the survival power and stuff. We made these ages ago. Um, I don't know what happened that now I have them. And then we also made the culinary long time ago. And even the, the solar panel. So now what does next here? Hand pump. And here we need to make a potion generator and so on. But I, I just find it interesting that these completed now. And five in assembly line. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> but yeah, this one, you know, takes the probably all three of the, the machine frames. There's a basic one. I have no idea. Sawmill. Did I ever make a sawmill? Oh, apparently I did. I don't recall that. Oh yeah, it was standing over there in the corner. I remember now. And then the pulverizer. We get a redstone ore. And the furnace. I, I find it... Oh. I, I just find it very weird that all of a sudden these eight um, came. And I just wanted to show you guys. It's it's weird. Um, Coco Bolo wood. Interesting. Let's see here. Last act of today. Give us something good. All right. Dark oak saplings, acacia, and jungle. Meh. If you don't have those saplings yet, let's see. We have that. We don't have the jungle or the dark oak. So I'm not mad. I, I like my trees. So I'm good with getting this. And anyways, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, finally, we got our flight. And we got cursed earth farm going so that was actually really productive i liked it i had a lot of fun doing this today and like i said next time uh we're gonna make use of the the essence that we're getting from that farm besides in the auto spawner and we'll see um don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the episode it really really helps out the channel a lot um so other people know about the series and so on and otherwise until next episode take care stay safe and bye bye